Well, good evening. Social media is moving beyond just a platform for posting selfies. More and more sites like Facebook are turning into rogue galleries of criminals caught in the act. Kelloland's Perry Groton looks at the most recent case of a break in at a Sioux Falls business. It's getting a lot of social media attention. Perry? That's right, Sammy and Brady. The burglary happened early Thursday morning at J. Eggie Automatic Service. Someone stole cash and coins during the break in that lasted just a few minutes. But it's been captured forever on surveillance and social media. Well, back. The J. Eggie staff Set figures the burglar Set broke through a barred window in the back of the shop. It was about a 10 inch by 10 inch area that he snuck in that through. That he snuck in through. So, so that tells you what? I had a skinny little guy. <laughs> Surveillance cameras were rolling as the burglar walked through the shop. Within two minutes, he was in the office going through file cabinets and the cash register. The Eggies discovered the burglary when they showed up to work Thursday morning. When you walk in in the morning, you figure it's just another morning in your life, and, and uh, within minutes, you realize that somebody's kind of violated your your uh, common grounds, and you know you take it personal. Joe Eggie posted the surveillance pictures on the shop's Facebook page. The photos have generated thousands of hits and plenty of comments. Here's a good one. He he got away with a bag of quarters, and this guy says maybe the bag of quarters was the only thing he'd carry. Not like he could carry a transmission. The shop hopes the photos will generate leads in the case, but the owner is also encouraged by all the social media support. And that, that, that gives you a good feeling that, that what's going on, there's people on your side. The Aggies installed surveillance cameras throughout the shop earlier this year. And following the break in, they say it was a very worthwhile investment. You know, if I was this fella, I think I'd be a little nervous. Now, the Aggies have been working with the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Department since that break in, turning over more surveillance evidence to investigators today. If you'd like to take a closer look, we posted it under this story at Kelloland.com. Thank you, Perry.